Welcome back to another lesson for N3 Electro Technology. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the indirect method for testing the efficiency of a DC machine. Now, the indirect efficiency testing is also known as the Swinburne method. When we do our calculations to simplify the formula, we can say power over power plus losses multiplied by 100 to give us the efficiency of a shunt generator. Now, to simplify, we can say that our armature current is represented by RA and our no load current is represented by IO. Our mechanical losses is measured in watts, and our mechanical losses consist of windage, friction, and iron losses. Now, in this example 5.5 on page 74 of our textbook, we'll be looking at the indirect method for testing a shunt generator. Now, remember that for a generator, it's always positive, because in terms of the operation, the EMF generated is in the same direction as the current flow. So in order to calculate the armature current, we say IL plus I shunt. The power that's given in this uh, example is 4,500 watts. The voltage is 200 volts. The shunt resistance, 100 ohms. The armature resistance, 0, 0,2 ohms. Now, it's important to note that no mechanical loss is given and no, no load current is given. So later in our calculation, we will assume that the mechanical loss is equal to zero. Right, the first thing to do is to calculate the armature current. Now, because it's a generator, we say IA is equal to IL plus I shunt. To calculate the supply current, we say power over voltage. And to calculate the shunt current, we say voltage over the shunt resistance. The power is 4,500 watts divided by the terminal voltage of 200. To calculate the shunt current, it's 200 volts divided by the shunt resistance of 100 ohms. Therefore, the supply current is 22,5 amps and the shunt current is 2 amps. Now, if we add those together, we get an armature current of 24,5 amps. To calculate the losses of this uh, test, the armature copper losses is considered to be the variable loss. And to calculate that, it's IA squared times RA. Armature current is 24,5 squared multiplied by the armature resistance of 0,2. And we end up with 120,05 watts for our armature copper loss. To calculate the shunt field copper loss, which is considered to be a constant loss, we will say I shunt multiplied by the terminal voltage. The shunt current is 2 amps and the terminal voltage is 200. Therefore, the shunt field copper loss is 400 watts. Now, the mechanical loss consists of iron windage and friction. In order to calculate the mechanical loss, we can say the no load current multiplied by the terminal voltage. However, in this example, no load current is not given. There we will, therefore, we will assume there is no mechanical loss. Okay, this is the formula available to us on the formula sheet. All I've done is I've put the, the values inside of the brackets. Inside of the brackets, we multiply. And outside of the brackets, we will add. Therefore, to simplify this formula, we can say power over power plus losses. To calculate the power, it's going to be 200 volts multiplied by the supply current of 22,5 amps over the power of 200 volts multiplied by the supply current. And then our armature current and armature resistance to give us the armature copper losses. And then the shunt field copper losses. And important to note that our mechanical losses in this example is zero, as we are not given any values for mechanical loss. Now, if we simplify those values, our power over the power plus the losses, and we end up with an efficiency of 89,641%. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and to like these videos. Thank you.